This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this QX80. It is a 2015 QX80 with 100,480 actual miles. Um, it is a four-wheel drive QX80 with a 5.6 liter V8. Uh, excellent motors. Um, it was a uh, new car dealer trade-in here in Tucson. We purchased it, sent it out, got it uh, looked at. Everything came back great. Um, has uh, great Carfax, great services per Carfax, which I'll show you in a second. There'll be a link to it in the ad. They'll, I'll show you the title we got from the uh, seller. Um, beautiful car. Um, they sold it uh, green light, which means guaranteed to us. This is a beautiful car. So anyway, I'm going to walk around the car. I just got done with the car wash. It didn't even need a detail. So we just took it to the car wash, rinsed it off. And you get to see it just the way it was, right? Um, tires are probably 50% tread. So a little, little touch-up paint would be good there. About a cut, about a $12 thing of touch-up paint, you'd probably be done with this vehicle pretty quickly. Um, I like driving these things. They're pretty nice. Little touch up there, little here, little scratch there. Pretty, really minor stuff. If you need a big people mover that's a lot of luxury, this would be it. While we're doing this, it's about 107 degrees right now, and it's gonna rain in a couple hours, so you lock it, then you hold down this, I'm gonna start it. Cause I wanna get the, uh, there you go. Cause I wanna get the EC going, it's freaking hot. Uh, let's see, while I'm back here, I might as well, let's see, open the rear. Not much going on back there, you just have the usual stuff back here. But you can uh, do that with the seats and this button, right? And other side, same thing. It'll go all the way forward and all the way back. Obviously, you have rear air. You hit this button if you want to hit that button to close it, okay? Got plenty of tread left on the tires. See that right there? That's Mexico, about 60 miles that way, and it's getting real dark. That's gonna be a big monster. We're gonna have a big weekend this weekend. Oh yeah, I gotta unlock it. There we go. Then you gotta go in here, and you gotta put your key in near it, and hit the, there. You gotta hit that, now you're back on. Now I can show you the rest. All right, first we'll do the paperwork stuff, show you this stuff. This will all be linked in the ad. A Mannheim Market Report. There's your VIN. 100,000 miles. 27.2 is what a dealer would pay for this at auction. Okay. This is the Kelly Blue Book. Uh, 100,000 miles. All wheel drive. 5.6. Typical listing price would be 32.534. Let's see. What else we got going on here? Oh, yeah. I did some car gurus for you. There's the car gurus. Uh, 31,884 is considered a great deal with 99,943. Um, let's see, here's another one. Uh, 34,999 is a good deal at 99,925 miles. Here's the actual window sticker for the vehicle. All this stuff is scanned in, you can see it all yourself. Blind spot, intelligent brake assist, backup collision, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's got all this stuff. It's uh, MSRP was $72,815. Um, knowing how it works at uh, Watson Infinity here, they probably made it about 78 or 9 when they sold it, probably close to 80 and probably out the door about 83, 84. So here's your uh, Carfax minor accident report. It says backed into a stationary object. So I probably hit something in the parking lot. There's a little, I saw a little ding in the, in the, in the, uh, Bump, rear bumper. I'll show you that again when we walk around one more time. No major title problems. Like I said, you can look at this yourself. Bum, 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 bum. Get service nicely. Really, very regularly. So it says here, airbag's not deployed, damage to rear, minor damage. I don't think they fixed it. I think they just bumped into something and tried to get a check. 
which is uh, advice to people on Carfax. If you're gonna go try to get a check from your insurance company and you fail, tell them not to report it. <laughs> because that's an expensive uh, report. All right, let me uh, open the hood. And people, you know, people think that you crashed your car badly and all you did was bump into a trash can. It's a big difference, all right? Anyway, not a whole lot to report under here. Stickers where they belong. That is a new battery we put in it. I think that'd be the, I don't know if you consider that a repair or not. I said we didn't do any repairs, but we did put a battery in it. And I locked the windows. So, I'm gonna go back over here. Let's see, window lock, boom. Okay, while we're on our way, I see a little ding right here on this bumper right here. I'll bet that's it. Yeah, because I don't see any, there's no paint work and there's, they haven't done anything to that thing. So I'm guessing that that's probably it. Door locks. Let's see, see forward, back, up, down, back forward. Up, up, up. That's that. Glove box, you have the full manual set up. We do have Scooby-Doo in the uh, changer. Let's see, got that. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see what we got in here. I'm not sure, that's just a plate. I think you could put more in there if you wanted to. Let's see, there's your fan all the way up in the rear. Temperature down, you got heated seats back here. That, I think that's that. Window, 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 window. Mirrors, out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Right, let's see, door locks. Okay, steering wheel. Let's see, we got in, it's an electric telescoping. In, out, let's see, down, up, that was already down and down. All right, you got seat forward, back, up. We'll go down first, it was already up. And up, seat back, motors are moving fast, so it wasn't really used a whole lot. All right, let's get some AC. It is freaking muggy. Man, not nice outside right now. Woo. All right, moonroof. Having born and raised in Tucson, third generation, I know what this weather is. It's gonna really rain hard later. All right, let's, uh, there's your uh, Scooby-Doo uh, movie back there. Now you can't watch it up here because it's illegal. That's why they don't do it anymore up front. Um, then we'll go here, country music. Let's see, we change sources up here. From here, right? Volume, down and up, right? All right, so that's that. Air is blowing ice cold, I can assure you, because I would be dead if it wasn't. There's your heated seats, low and high, high and low. Let's see. That's, you can make the seats fold forward right here. See this button here, and this will do the other one. That'll help people get in and out of the car in the back, right? Let's see, you got a heated steering wheel, which I think is ridiculous. I never understood that. Um, let's see, neutral. We'll go to four high. Well, we're in four high. And there's drive in four high. And reverse in four high. There's your backup camera, right? Okay. Then we're going to go to neutral, we're going to push and go down to four low. Now we're at four low. 
See how the traction control goes away right there? All right. That's definitely granny gear. We are in granny gear there. All right. Then reverse. That's some poor low. All right. Now we're going to go back to four high. I mean, to two wheel drive. You also have snow. See snow up here? And then you've got tow, right, which is right here. And then you can turn the traction control off, which is up there, okay? Let's see, what else we got going on here that you need to know? There's a USB port here. There's an inverter, power inverter in the center console. You got cup holders, there's your remote. All right, let's go for a ride. Turn the fan down in here, it sounds like a hurricane in here. It's nice though. Um, all right, if you come to Tucson to drive this beautiful rig home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, okay? If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file and we will mail it. We even uh, uh, scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, pretty cool police situation here behind the uh, vet clinic here. Um, if you need help with shipping, please let me know at the time of purchase. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle. So you just make one payment. Um, it's very simple. Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know. I can do it for you. I'm very good at it. Done it for many, many years. Um, what else? God, well, look how dark it is down there. It is gonna. It, it, that's Nogales about. 60 miles that way that is black and dark and it's going to be really really flooding down there right now they don't have the drainage we have up here so they're gonna have problems anyway um let's see i can help you do the shipping you're welcome to do it yourself um whatever you need all right um deposits 500 dollars. once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it's going to stay for sale we do not hold vehicles for people we don't you know wait for you know you to get home and tell your husband or your wife that you found this vehicle because by the time you get home it's already got a deposit and sold okay so do it quickly make up your mind quickly i just noticed something here's a oil change sticker it's uh, due for an oil change at 105 342 um so it must have just just been done i mean it's just been done so that's kind of cool um what else uh last part of every video i say the same thing every time it usually pertains more to little rougher type of cars, like you know, rough diesel trucks or whatever. But I say it for the same vehicle for, for every vehicle, so I'll do it this time, like I do for every one of them. We don't have uh, salesmen, uh, so we don't have commissions to pay. We don't have bottled water with our name on it, like they have at the auto mall. Um, we don't have uh, a fancy waiting room with an attendant serving scones and lattes and sandwiches. We don't have a game room. Uh, we don't have fountains and perfect pavement. In fact, when we turn when I turn on to Gardner Lane where our business is, we're basically four-wheeling, which will give you the vibration test for this vehicle. All right. Um, uh, because we don't have all that stuff, we don't have to pay for all that stuff. So that's one of the reasons why our vehicles look so cheap online. It's not because they're bad cars, it's because we don't need to make that much money on them. We need you to be happy. And uh, one of the reasons, and the main reason is, that we want you to be the owner on day one. The Auto Mall, they know that when they sell you this vehicle, they've got every dime they could possibly pry out of your hands for it. Um, so they know if something breaks, you're going to bring it in, and they better fix it or there's going to be a problem. Um, we're not prying every dime, not even close to every dime that this vehicle's worth, okay? Because we want you to own it. There's me and my brother. Uh, there's only two of us, a lot of work to do. We don't have time to deal with vehicles after we sell them, okay? So the way we do it is we tell you everything that we know that's right and wrong. The internet has thousands and thousands and thousands of hits a day. The right person who's okay with a scratch here, a ding there, or a window motor here, or a door lock, or an injector, or a transmission, or a motor problem, as long as we tell them about them, we don't have a problem. What what happens though is if we if we leave something out then we're gonna get screamed at and then we earned it everything we know you know about this vehicle okay um, 
like I'm saying, see this road? Horrific. It's embarrassing. And Tucson has really high taxes. Between state and uh, local taxes, what, 8.8%? And that's our road. So, anyway, uh, enough bitching about that. Uh, bottom line is, we save you the money up front, okay? So that you can uh, have the money up front. Uh, I would say, having driven and done this for decades, many decades, um, when I sit my butt in a vehicle, I'm almost 99.9% .9 on vehicles. I'm almost never wrong. Um, I've driven this actually a few miles also, more than usual, because I like it. Um, this vehicle just needs to be taken care of. Keep it out of a lake, don't wreck it. Change the fluids once in a while. Change the filters once in a while. Uh, this thing will go forever. Uh, those five sixes go for a long, long time. Hundreds of thousands of miles when they're taken care of. Um, but we always like to tell people how we roll. We don't want people to get, you know, surprised when they call and say, oh, the window motor stopped working and I want to check for $192. The answer is going to be no. Okay. Um, that being said, I'm going to hop out of this guy and get back to the air conditioning as quickly as I can. This is a gorgeous car. Really nice car. Thank you for your time.